Hey guys, so today I'm here with Steph. I met her on the tour that I did the other day uh, with Alternative Peru. And we're gonna actually have an interview here today with her boss, Andrea. They work for Loco Alventura, right? Local, yeah. So she'll talk about that and I'm gonna interview her today to show you guys what uh, services they have to offer in case you're interested. I just had a chat with her and I think that they really have things that you would definitely love to know more about. So Steph is gonna be my camera person today <laughs> and we're gonna get started with the interview. So Andrea or Andrea, what do you prefer? Either one? Either one. Okay, Andrea, since we're doing it in English, could you tell me a little bit more about why the idea for Local Aventura came about? Yeah, um, so as I was telling you, I'm originally from Chile, I was born in the region, um, and I've always thought about, or I've always traveled and worked here and seen how local guides and in general how challenging it is for tourism, and how challenging it is for customers who are interested in exploring the region and interested in coming here to find something that's local, authentic, credible, and safe. And so we interviewed quite a few customers who are coming to Latin America and asking them like, what are the challenges that you face? Why is it difficult to get here? What are the impressions that you have on Latin America? And we decided that local aventura was the best way to offer them a safe and easy method to come. Awesome. And how long ago did you start local aventura? We started it about a year ago. Okay. And how's it been going so far? It's been going great. So um, what we have been focusing on is building our presence in Chile, Argentina, Uruguay, and Peru. And by that I mean we have been looking for the best and most exceptional local guides in each of those countries. And so uh, we have launched in, in those countries and we're building our biking tours, hiking tours, photography tours, and just e every single type of experience so that when a tourist comes they can actually get an authentic view into the country. Awesome. And where are you thinking about expanding to? Now that you're here in Peru, Peru is definitely one of your options. And what other countries are you looking into? Yeah. So as I mentioned, our priority countries are for today are Chile, Peru, Argentina, and Uruguay. But our next level priority countries would be um, other countries that are very significant in the region and that also offer enough tourism and have enough of a, a infrastructure where we can bring our company. And so those countries include Mexico, Colombia, Costa Rica, Panama. Um, as our as our next level priorities. Awesome. And could you tell the viewers what makes you different from any other competitor out there? Yeah, so at Local Aventura, we know that for customers, they normally face three major challenges. So the first one is actually finding credible guides that you can reach out to and book in advance. The second one is, is that most guides in Latin America, you need to pay for in cash. And so we've heard stories about customers coming with thousands of soles, handing them over to a Machu Picchu guide and just hoping the whole thing works. Um, and then the last uh, challenge that we find is, it's hard to find really good guides, guides that speak great English, guides that offer you a really authentic perspective into the region. And so what we do at Local Aventura is that we offer those three things. So we have a booking platform that connects passionate guides with local adventurous people coming to Latin America. And we allow you to pay in advance, book in advance, and then ha be able to choose an exciting tour that you're interested in. Awesome. And some other thing to point out is that you actually go and experience the tours for yourself. You actually meet the guides. So yeah. it's not that you're just contacting different pla people in different places. You're actually going out there and doing the work yourselves. So. Yeah. So when we actually did a research on our competitors, we noticed that many of them uh, either didn't have a focus on Latin America, which is something we offer, or just let any tour guide onto their platform. And what we do instead is that we have a thorough vetting process for every single one of our guides. And the reason for that is we know that, you know, a customer reading a review, it may say that a guide speaks English, but then he doesn't actually speak enough English to offer you a great tour. Or um, a guide may say that he offers a certain type of service, but then when you actually go on the tour, you realize that it's not at that level. And so at Local Aventura, we make sure that every single one of our guides are exceptional. We do the filtering for our customers. And so any of the guides that you book on our, on our platform, I've already interviewed and spoken to and feel really passionately that they can offer you a really authentic and meaningful experience. Awesome. And why the name Local Aventura? Yeah, great question. So we actually did a lot of research on what kind of name we should have for our company. And the reason we picked Local Aventura is because we thought it was a uh, first of all, like a catchy, or we did studies that showed that it was a catchy 
um, name and that was memorable. But then also we wanted to intro, uh, introduce a level of Spanglish, like local yeah. and aventura, yeah. to show that we actually have a focus on this region, which is unlike most of our competitors. That's awesome. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to add about your company? Um, yeah, let me talk a little bit about the social impact because I think that's an yeah. important element yeah, yeah, that yeah. maybe we haven't mentioned. So one of the things that I thought about when we started Local Aventura is I wanted to offer people coming into the region with a safe, secure, and authentic way to actually see Latin America. Okay. You and I both know that people's perceptions of Latin America are that it can be dangerous or we have a lot of mass media like from Narcos to the news that show us that you know there are uh, dangers in Latin America. But our whole mission with Local Aventura is that we think that if we connect people from outside with local guides in Latin America who can offer them a unique and authentic experience, that we can make the region more accessible for tourists coming in. And then additionally, in the same way that Uber, for example, is empowering people and giving them the ability to have an independent job as an entrepreneur, yeah. we want to empower our local guides to be their own entrepreneurs. And so that way they don't have to work through an agency or give up some of their commission to somewhere else. What we do is offer them the ability to own their own business yeah. by supporting them with the marketing and payment platforms that sometimes they don't have on their platform. And so we are building a community of guides in each of our countries uh, and offering them the ability to have their own uh, businesses. That's awesome. So could you mention a little bit about the different, for example in Chile, the different types of guides that you already have there, established there, what kind of tours that people can expect in Chile? Yeah, we, I mean every country is really different, has its own unique, and being from Chile I'm really proud of the tours that we have there. And so we have everything from a biking tour that takes you into the Andes for the day where you can see condors and you can see uh, beautiful landscapes of the mountains to uh, wine tours that take you into the Casablanca or Colchagua regions where you can see how local winemakers have actually made the wine and, and why that industry is so important in Chile today. Um, we also have tours to Valparaiso, right, which is a patrimonial site in Chile and an important city to show you how that region has developed. Um, and so we offer a gamut and like a diversity of tours, but I'll say that one of the things that I love about our guides is that each of them is extremely unique and offers their own story. So for example, we have a photography tour with a internationally recognized photographer who is has been working for Reuters and is a photo, photo journalist. And so giving tourists the opportunity to meet somebody who's cool and unique like that and who offers a different perspective and can then teach you photography yeah. is the kind of tour that I want to offer on our platform. That's so awesome. So is there anything that you would like to say to wrap up? <laughs> no, no, that's, that's it. That's it. I'm excited to um, to have had the opportunity to meet you, and I'll just ask anybody to check out our website at localaventura.com. Yeah, I'll have the information in the description below where you can find them. Definitely be sure to check them out. I think that what they're doing is really great. Um, they're helping promote more financial prosperity for all the guides out there that are struggling and really have a lot to offer you, and it's just a really safe platform to use. So. Definitely give this video a thumbs up or a like if you've enjoyed it and definitely be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or videos of me giving you tips and travel advice on what to do when you're in Peru. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching once again and I'll see you soon. Bye!